Hello, neighbors. April Burton, whose art you have to check out, she's awesome, was over here getting some wood from the pallets that Bill has put everywhere. And Brian, her son, was uh, helping carry. And uh, so they've taken off so we could do this next section. What I'm going to be doing is pulling out different sections by giving them a huge amount of shade so that it's not just the boxes in themselves that have some shading. It is sections of boxes. And I haven't done this before, so this is my first time figuring this out. Probably go somewhere around here. Just pull it out a little bit. Find some interesting shapes. to be played with once the next things happen. I've added a little bit of black to my burnt number. Give it a darker feel so that this has even more of a dimension to it. When I highlight the areas around the inner part of what is being shaded now, it should bring out a section I'm kind of liking how it's creating its own little line of darkness on the edges. Getting nice and even. And I am covering up what I've already done, and that's on purpose. Some of the layers that I started with are going to show up, but a great deal of them will get lost in the upper layers. But I want to keep it thin enough that you can still see some of the dimensions underneath. my paintings I like to do consistent transparencies so that every layer gets a character and a voice in the whole composition. section there. I want to pull out a section here. And hopefully I can do it without killing myself. Throwing brushes around. Death by brushes. Death by brushes. For all of those who want to try to contemplate an epic death. 
<laughs> well, at least it would be original, right? I'd hope so. <laughs> you can go through all that trouble of death by paintbrushes. Hey, make some art something out of it. You know where I take some of this curving line? Give it a little bit more interest. That is quite curvy. This is my blending brush. I love the feel of oil paint because it doesn't dry it as moves, fast. It doesn't dry as fast. It's got that gel-like consistency. So even when I'm watering it down so that the different dimensions can show, it's still getting that wonderful feel of movement that comes to it using the oil. planning on doing some whoops. If you've seen my paintings before, you know what this whoops are. They're kind of fun. <laughs> they're absolutely fun to do. And they're see-through. So these things can be seen underneath. And this time I can take these edges or corners and pop them over top of a swoop so it gives a little bit more dimension. And this comes out. And I'm going to take one more section on this side. Little one. And none of this is pre-planned. <laughs> this is all happening on the canvas as all of the dimensions tell me they want to go. And yes, they're speaking to me. I don't think I need a mental home, but I'm not the expert. <laughs> I think it's fun to have paintings speak to me. Feel like I'm in a private conversation nobody else is having. At least until you put it on your wall and you see it yourself every day, and then you can have your own conversation with the creation. All right. So that's a good start for doing something new. You can focus in on there, darling, and give them a closer view of the areas. The next step, after a little bit of drying, is going to be to put in the colors. And putting in the colors is so much fun! I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you, besties. Love you out.